for your entertainment, I'll swallow the pavement. I'll make you feel alive. Oh, oh, oh. Victor, come on. Oh, I see you here. Okay, we're done. Where's the Jarl? Led by the looks of things. Just as well. He could have been a value to us. For what? Ransom? To hang his head from the walls? Markarth is ours now, and none will take it away from us this time. We will need your sentinels to help guard the city, while I send word to all the forsworn across the reach to join us. Understood. I must issue new orders to my sentinels. Good. We will search the rest of the keep for lingering guards. Perhaps the Jarl is hiding somewhere in here as well. Th that seems to be the case. Issue new orders. Well, it's time to leave then. About time too. Baden, is that you? Oh, that's more guard. More soldiers. Apparently, you didn't take care of him. So we claim Markarth. We claim Riften. Um, not sure what's next, actually. Time to give them their new orders. Or should I say Baden to give them to them? What in oblivion are the Thalmor doing here? I was about to find out, my lord. It doesn't look good. Take a horse and get back to Ice School Valley. Immediately. Should I tell the Guardian Commander to expect company? Uh, tell the Guardians to stay alert, just in case. Yes, my lord. I'll ride as fast as that horse can take me. Okay, where the fuck are the Talmor, even? I see no Talmor. What do you mean? Oh. Of course, the fucking Talmor. Again. What are you doing here, Talmor? Greetings, lord. I see that you and your sentinels too have come to the aid of the people of Markarth. Give me one reason I shouldn't slay you right now. In no mood for diplomacy, my lord? Then I will speak plainly. You may be able to defeat my force, but I would advise against such heinous action. Say what you've come to say. This battle has been witnessed, my lord. Your troops were seen working in unison with the Forsworn to take Markarth by force. Perhaps you even planned to turn on them and take the reach for your own. Well, you know what they say, dead elves tell no tales. Even now, my carrier is taking my report to our embassy. Unless you withdraw, every remaining Yarl, our Imperial allies, and every noble family will know of your conquest. You will never have peace, my lord. You son of a bitch. To be quite frank, everyone knows of your seizing of the rift. If you think that you can now take the reach without bringing the armies of Skyrim to the doorstop of your tiny, frozen icicle valley, then you are sorely mistaken. My response is, go service yourself, Talmor. Ah, spoken like a true peasant lord. Farewell then, and you will remove your troops, or you will regret it, I assure you. I want, want to kill you all. Can I do that? <laughs> Fuck you. Get out of my face. Tomor order Markarth. Captain Halen, if the greedy lord does indeed take Markarth as you believe, send back a courier with the news immediately. We intend to use this rash and poorly conceived land grab to our advantage. Shall talk more when you return to the embassy. Son of a bitch. Why is it here now? Baden, are you outside? Are you inside? Baden, speak to me! After a long and very buggy journey, I got him to fucking go in here. The Thalmor knew of our plans for Markarth. What did the Thalmor say? 
said if I didn't leave Marker, they would inform the Jarls. Clearly, the Thelmor received information from someone. I suppose we can't assume it wasn't one of ours. God damn it. What are your plans now, my lord? Understood, my lord. <clears throat> uh, what do you know about the bail? The capital, Dawnstar, is best known as a valuable port, though I have heard it called the Sleepless City. I also hear Dawnstar has suffered quite a bit of Reaver trouble of late. Reavers, you say? Yes, lord. Reavers, raiders, pirates, and so on. I've been told that the city guard has been mostly successful in repelling their attacks, but the last time the death toll was heavy on both sides. Perhaps there are car reinforcements. The guards are reavers, my lord. <laughs> Take your pick. The reavers have been largely unsuccessful due to the Jarl's military experience. But the reavers are growing bolder, and the war reduced the number of soldiers available to guard the hold. What about the sentinels? The sentinels could handle any reavers, sure. But I doubt any Jarl would ask another hold for help, unless it were a matter of life and death. No more prideful might choose the latter. This would be especially true regarding foreign powers, such as yourself. I am Tain of the Pale. Oh, I wasn't aware. That will certainly help matters, my lord. I need Dawnstar, but I can't just take it. I see. And you're right. Open as it is, it would be a nightmare to try to defend, even if you did take it. I want to hear some options. Well, it would be aggressive, but you could arrange to have Dawnstar visited by raiders more often. Once the port were thoroughly imperiled, you could approach the Yarrow with an offer to lend him the Sentinels. For a fair price. It reeks of extortion. The Yarrow isn't a fool. No, no, of course not. You could arrange to meet the Yarrow, to discuss your desire to open trade negotiations. Perhaps the night before you're scheduled to arrive, Reavers would attack the port, with just enough to thin the guard population. What about the options? Well, neither blackmail nor a visit from the Dark Brotherhood would do much good here. You could just engage in honest trade with the Pale and consider a closer target for your expansion. Blacklight is closer than Dawnstar. Perhaps later. How do we align my visit with an attack? I can arrange to spread misinformation among the Reavers. Perhaps a massive Quicksilver deal is being made in Dawnstar, worth tens of thousands of septums. Go on. They'll arrive, rough up the town a bit, kill a few more guards. Meanwhile, a few Sentinels can demonstrate their prowess against the Reavers and make an impression on the Jarl. Uh, what makes you think the Jarl will turn, will turn to me? The Jarl's trusted Thane? In discussing shipping and security, bring up the Reaver issue. Then, suggest leasing the Jarl a dozen Sentinels. Why would the Jarl refuse you? Have the Jarl pay me to bring the Sentinels to Dawnstar. Far less suspicious than just offering the help for free. And more profitable. I'll consider this option. As you wish, Your Grace. Ah, uh, send a letter to the Jarl of the Pale. By your command, Lord. Please, just give me a moment. You're gonna fucking run out. Pale star at dawn. Okay, now he's fixed. Make plans with Baden to take the pale. Actually, I'm gonna make plans in the next episode because this is over two hours. Trying to get freaking Baden over here to go in the fucking building. Mm. Speak with Baden after he gives you gives your message to the courier. Well, the courier will deliver your message to the Jarl of the Pale, my lord. Take a couple of days to receive word back. Very well. Your excuse until then. Thank you, my lord. Wait to hear back from the Yarrow of the Pale. Uh, let's go talk to Galen. Actually, this is over here. Eh. Come on, move it. Move the boat, motherfucker! <laughs> Good day, Galen, even though it's nighttime. Oh, fine day, my lord. Fine, fine day. I need to know something. Has there been any word from Dragon Store? I sent your sample to my contact at the Red Road Border Crossing. The coil always sends a confirmation letter, but uh, this time there's been no word. Do you suspect trouble? This is unusual, my lord. It's not like him to forget to write. 
Uh, I suppose we'll just have to wait. Just have to wait? Okay, visit the Red Road border crossing or continue waiting. I'm not gonna wait. Who knows what trouble there might be there. Let's see, as far as I remember, it was over here when we were there. With the army. Should I say with my army? Okay. Completed landlord started the Red Road seldom. Unraveled. Oh hey there. Oh smuggler's trail. It's probably down here. I'll probably need my weapon drawn. I need to find Coil, wherever he is. Whoever he is even. He's killing bunnies, what the hell? I'll show you, haha. -ha. I'll show you, haha. -ha. Rip. Well, old man. You've been beaten by the Lord of Icicle Valley. Look at that water. Mm. So crisp and clear. <laughs> that awkward moment was Skyrim looks better than real life. <laughs> oh my. What the heck? Who lives up here on the top of the freaking cave mountain top? Red Road Trading Corporation. I think it was actually company, not corporation. Okay. Uh, good day. May the sun always light your path, my friend. Greetings, I wonder if you can help me find someone named Coil. That depends on why you're looking for him. It's a private matter, but wait, is that my ebony ore sample? This? Oh, you must be from that city up north. Uh, icicle uh, gourds, was it? I'm here because we never heard back. We never heard back from you about this ore. You have not heard from me because there is nothing to report. My suppliers from Hammerfell are overdue, so I cannot give them the ore. Are the caravans often so untimely? Never. I suspect the road is closed, but the crossing patrol won't tell me anything. This also tells me that the road is closed. Uh, the gate was closed when I arrived. I don't know why. Ah. Crossing master has likely shut down the border again to sweat the incoming merchants for coin. That's more like it. It is a lot of trouble for us all. Uh, why don't you just use the road further east? Because this is the most direct road to Dragonstar, and the gates are usually open. Perhaps. I'll go see for myself what's causing the delay. A word of advice? Keep away from the crossing guards. If the road is closed, they will probably kill you on sight. I'll try to keep that in mind. One more word, my friend. If you see a caravan of Red Guard on the way, tell them I am pulling my hair out waiting for them. Will do. Okay. A missing Red Guard caravan. Wait, is it over here? Oh, that's convenient. I get to see what the Red Road is about. Probably killing Red Guards. Cause it's Red Road and Red Guard. Oh hey there. Give up ah! you still kid. Are you trying to kill me? With a bullet oh, close range? Oh my. That was a blood curdling scream. Oh my goodness. There's like two of them up there. You train to get hit and die? That looks like it. <laughs> that seems like it to begin with. Where, what the heck? Oh, she's down there now. Wow. Rip. The map marker is pointing towards um there. Did I miss something? There's a fortress over here. The Red Road Crossing. Where are the people at? I see three dots. Well, oh, that was a little bit glitchy. Okay. Oh my. Oh my. What the heck happened? Won't 
get the best of me. Uh huh. How's that? How about that? Huh? How about this? Huh? Huh? Do you want a piece of me? Hmm. Hmm. I look like a porcupine. Damn. Stupid red guards. What's down here? The guards passage. Hmm. Hello guards, it's time to die. Oh god, it's fucking dark. Bear with me. That's better. Oh hey there, red guard. Are you even looking at me? Look at me when I hit you! Ugh. That was one heck of a dark passage. Someone can kill you in that passage and you won't even know. So what is what's this temple even? Um the red road crossing. Oh hello. I didn't notice you there. There you go. So this is the Red Road Crossing South. Oh my. You may need to sneak. <laughs> what a great sword. Oh my god. If combat can be avoided, I'm gonna sneak past them. Which I don't think it can. Oh hey. Don't aha me. Oh god. Oh god. This is not going well. Mainly because I'm in third person. Did I hit him? There you go. That's a lot of dots, don't you think? The party. Wonder if I can sneak past them now. You should respect your elders. Why is everyone in the cage? Is what I want to know. I didn't do anything to you. And you started hitting me, so you asked. You brought this on yourselves. Where's the goddamn exit? Um. Hello? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh! Uh, uh. <coughs> Who the fuck is coughing like that? What? Where the fuck do I go? Do we go down? Can we go down? Yes we can. If I find the right way to go. Yup, down. Who's fighting? Two deportees, I think. Wooden door. Expert. I think I'm supposed to go there, but let's see what they're fighting about. Where are they? Yep, they're fighting. Fuck that. Goodbye. You can stay in there for all I care. <laughs> no one bests an so where the fuck do I go then? Red Road crossing north. Oh, I think I'm going the right way. Someone there? Red Road patrol. <laughs> Rip in pieces. I think the map markers might be backwards, but I'm not sure about that. Nope. Here we are. Did I get the key? Think so. Thanks for watching. I upload daily gaming videos, so it'd be in your best interest to subscribe if you like them. We're merry men of Skyrim, so sturdy and so stout. When the day is done, when it's time for fun, we'll drink and sing and shout. You weak livered milk drinkers can let your throats run dry. Cause it's just one drink that 